Hey, Sean here. Um, so I've just finished um, day five. Um, we finished the expedition and everything else, and that's my mountain leader assessment over with. Um, I've not been able to post um, any videos of the past couple of days just because we weren't in a great area, and also my phone decided to die, um, telling me there was too much moisture in it. Um, so the last video was the first day of day three. Um, so the, of, of the expedition, sorry, um, of the three day expedition. So that was Wednesday night, sorry, Wednesday day. Um, Wednesday night, we went out for our night navigation and I had the worst night ever. Um, a, an area that should have taken me or a place that should have taken me about 10 minutes to get to took me over an hour and three quarters to navigate to. Um, don't know why, um, I just really, really struggled. Um, yeah, just couldn't get it at all. And eventually when I was standing there and I turned around and said, I'm lost. Um, so um, Graham got one of the, the girls to, or got the girls to relocate, as you do. And when somebody leads away, other people have to relocate. And once they get there, to make sure they know where they are. Um, and they showed me where they, they thought they were. And it was exactly where I was meant to be. Um, but I didn't have the confidence um, to actually say, I'm there. So yeah, a bit of a learning curve. Then my next leg, um, straight away but I mean it was basically just navigating to the top of the hill in the dark so you just keep walking until you can't walk up anymore so I can't really take too much credit for that one um however it kind of puts your head back in a in a good place and then my third leg my final leg for that night um I'd made a plan um to walk off um on a bearing to get to a certain point on the hill then to walk off on another bearing pick up a stream handrail that down and I'd have got to my point and then for some reason I was about to do that I decided to put all that away and just contour down the hill and it went wrong um, so I had an absolute howler of a night on the night nav um, was actually quite upset by it uh, I was in a really really crappy place um, but the girls that are on the course with me um, you know, they they helped me get through as well so then we had um, day four um, and that was just it was a great day I had a really good nav day um, I, I was I felt like I was on top form I felt like I was hitting on the button every single time um, whether I was leading a group or whether I was relocating I felt really really confident um, but I also knew that that night I had to go out and do a second night of night nav to, to prove myself um, I felt really positive after the day um, and we went out at night myself and one of the girls from the other groups um, who had also um, not performed as well as she needed to um, on a previous night. Um, so we had to go out and we were out for a short period of time, but for some reason my head was just absolutely in it. Um, and every single point I just felt confident, I navigated there and I was on the button. Um, so really, really proud of myself there that, I, you know, by that point I thought, well, I've pretty much done whatever I could. Um, and then today, um, it was not so much because we were finishing about sort of 12 o'clock. We ended up getting back about one. There was a lot more navigation. There was talks on uh, buying equipment, advising other people, some more environmental stuff. Um, yeah, there was lots of chat along the way um, about all the, the, the other side because it's not all about nav. Um, and the mountain leader qualification is not a navigation qualification. It's a leadership qualification. Um, and, you know, yes, you do know how to nav and you've really got to be sharp with it. But actually, it's so much bigger than that. It's the leadership skills, the softer skills, the interpersonal skills, the background knowledge. You know, it'd be great if you could name 20 flowers, but if you can actually talk about two of them, that's probably going to be even better. So it's all these sort of things as well. Um, and then we got back to uh, the, the finishing point um, today. Um, and then Graham and Lucy went away and had a chat. Um, and basically discuss, discuss the candidates in detail and then we had to go over one by one um, so I then went over and it, it was a horrible walk it was like a walk of shame because <laughs> you really don't know what's going to happen um, I then sat down and was told you're a mountain leader <laughs> and I'm really happy um, a lot of effort uh, yeah just just really really happy so if you get the chance and if you really want to challenge yourself, put yourself through it. It's tiring. It's exhausting. But when you get it right, you get it right. And uh, yeah, I'm a mountain leader. <laughs>